what to do means any chapter what I, we have learned you have not have any doubts right yes sir uh, all chapters are clear for me sir okay fine fine so in your class hiran formula is going on right uh yes actually they started and they finished it because it, they just explained the formulas and then they took some questions hiran so. formula right yes sir, they finished it now they're studying polynomials they just like did a bit briefing on that and they said they will uh, do the whole chapter by next in the next term okay okay fine yes sir, now they're studying polynomial but we finished polynomial okay then hiran's formula i'll just tell you the you want the uh, concept you know a few examples you know no sir formulas and all no right no sir they just said like we, we will start hiran's formula and then they just explain what is hiran's formula okay so okay i'll tell you the hiran's formula only what all things are hiran's formula huh uh it's s minus uh, no s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c yeah see what is a concept over here i'll tell you yeah. it's very easy concept actually see the concept was hmm. You know, equilateral triangle, right? Yes. So, uh, area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square. We know that, right? And we can yes. prove also how it is coming by using Pythagoras theorem and all, okay? Yes, sir. So, if this is equilateral triangle, so we can find the area directly. We know the formula root 3 by 4 a square, okay? Root 3 yes. by 4 a square. a square if we have right angle triangle then we have the formula half base into height right yes sir but if you know a scalene triangle if you have a scalene triangle which is having different sides or something like it's not equilateral it's not a right angle triangle something like that then how do you find so you can find this triangles by Hiron's formula. Okay. Okay. If any unknown side is given to you, like you see here, here one third case, if you see seven, eight, nine is given to you, right? Yes. So to find the area of this triangle or any triangle, if you know the sides, if you know all the three sides, either maybe equilateral or isosceles or right angle triangle, if you know all the three sides, they, then you can use what? Hiron's formula, okay? Okay, sir. Means all the three sides should be compulsory. Compulsory, you should know all the three sides. So three sides you should know. Then only you can use what? Hiron's formula. Otherwise, you can't use. Okay, sir. So now the formula. Hiron's formula is used to find the area. So area of the Hiron formula is this one. What I'm just rounding it off in blue color okay this much you understood yeah. now your question is what is capital is the area of triangle what is s a b c so s is nothing but semi perimeter s is what semi, semi perimeter okay Yes. So semi, semi perimeter is nothing but sum of all the sides divided by two. Perimeter okay. means uh, sum of all the sides. You know that, right? Yes. But if they are semi perimeter, then you have to add all the sides. Semi means just half the perimeter. The sum oh, of okay. all the sides divided by two. Clear? Is it clear? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So A plus B plus C divided by 2 is nothing but semi perimeter. What about A, B, C? A, B, C are the sides. A, B, C are the sides. Okay. That's all. 
and after that what you do after knowing the everything s a b c you just put this value and this value also in this formula okay so just okay. solving the notebook what you are getting just a second uh for what question sir the 7891 yeah 789 yes Sir, is the answer twelve root five? Yes, 12 root 5. Because what is coming in pair that we are making one single out of it, right? Yes. And what has become single over it? That is only single. Single means root will come. Okay. Clear? Okay. Now, another question is if sides are 2, 3, and 4, then tell me the area of that. Uh Sir, can you tell the question again? See, that tri triangle is given here. So you can see the triangle. Uh, yes, sir. Sides are 2, 3, and 4. Sides are 2, 3, and 4. So yes, find the area of this.
What do you find the semi perimeter? Perimeter. What is semi perimeter here, Amit? Uh, semi perimeter is nine by two. I'm still doing nine by two, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, fine. So can I explain the area? Um, I got I'm confused. Okay, fine. See here. Till here, you I think you have read it here. Till here. Yes, sir. I did till then. Nine by two is a uh, semi perimeter. Then nine by two minus two, nine by two minus three, nine by two minus four, right? Yeah. The second step you have done, right? Yes, sir. Start... I, I'm done with the third one also. Third one you are done, right? Yes, sir. After third one? Yes, sir. That's what I'm confused in that. Right here. 9 by 2. 9 minus 4 is what? 5 by 2, right? Yes. 9 by 2 in bracket. What you should write? 5 by 2, correct? Yes, sir. Then 9 minus 6, 3 by 2 you can write now. Then again 1 by 2. This much you understood or not? Subtraction is very easy. Yes, now. sir. Okay. So I'll show you the next step now. See. Okay. So I, I divided it, then I'm, I did the minus. Okay. So till here, this one you understood or not? This one, this one is third step is clear now. Yes, it's clear. Now nine can be written as three into three. Understood? Nine can be written as three into three. Again, five into three is left out. Okay. See. Yes, sir. Nine, nine can be written as three into three. Five and three is left out. Yes. Then we have to make pair, which is which is pair that will take it out. So three three is one pair, so we have taken only ones out. Yes. Two and two and two and two. Two times. So two into two is four. Now, single time, which is which all numbers are single? Is it three, five, five and, three. and three? So five threes are fifteen. Clear? Yes. So answer is three by four root fifteen. Clear now? Yes. That's all. Harini. Yes, sir. You are not understanding what we are doing, right? Yes, sir. Okay. We have just and discuss the Heron's formula. Only one formula is there, Heron's formula. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. We learned this in class. When? This year only? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. This chapter has been finished to you. Yes, yeah, sir. We're done with this. We started polynomials. Okay. You people are in the same school or what? Same it's there for Amit also. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. sir. You were in the same school? Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Okay, okay, okay. You are in which school, Chaitanya? Who? Chaitanya is not in. Which school you are in? Uh, Justice Private. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll give another, another question for you.
can you see this question 884 yes this you find the area 884 find the area of this triangle Where is that question? Oh, here. You consider that 884 only is given to you, nothing else is given. Okay, height and all don't consider over here. Only consider the triangle and just sides are 884. Already, mm -hmm. if you understood in class, you might have done, you can do easily, I think, right? Yes. Sir, is the answer 215? 215. 215. What's up? What are you saying? The answer is 215. I think this AD is 215. Means height is 215. It's not area. Uh, so oh, oh, I, then uh -huh. it's 415. Then it's 415. 415. Okay, tell me uh, 415. Now, Harini, what do you got the answer? So I'm still solving this. Okay, wait a minute then. What do you got S, Harini? 10. You, Amit? I got 415 as the area. Okay, area. I'm saying semi-perimeter, S. Oh, semi-perimeter is 10. Okay. A is 8. B is 8. C is four. Ten into so, two. Into so the two. answer I got is four root fifteen. Same answer both of you got, right? Yes. Yes. Two five two 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 three. So two two is one pair. Two two is one pair. Ek. Four root fifteen is the correct answer. Yes. Hmm. See here also it's given. Because you can do by Pythagoras theorem also and you can just find. Okay. Yes. So half of the triangle is 2 root 15 by Pythagoras theorem we found here AD. And then area we have done. Next is this question 12, 6, 14. Find this question. 12, 6, 14. Thank you. 
Sir, I got six, 16 root 5 centimeter square. 16 root 5. You, Amit? Just a second, sir. First, tell me S. What do you got S, Amit? 32 by 2. 16. If you add all the sides, what become? 18, 22, 32, 16, 32. right? Yes, sir. You yes, got sir. 16 first or not? Yes. yes sir. Okay. Then find the answer where you're getting same answer as Harini got. Harini, if I want to ask the height of this triangle like this, then what is the height? That if height you can find, check it out. This height. Okay. Sir, can you find the height in scaling triangle? Because like, if it's an equilateral triangle, then it cuts into half. This but is not two equal half. Is... I'm not saying this is equal half. And normally, yes. this is the, any any. This is one simply one height is there. We don't yes. know. it's cut to half or what. This is simply height. So then can, we can't find it right. We can find. Hmm. We can find any of those actually height. This height you also you may find. Sir, I got eight root twenty. Eight root twenty. Actually, that is also correct. But twenty can again you can write no. Oh yes, sir. Twenty again you can write. Yes, sir. So 16, 16 minus 6 is 10. 10 into 4 into 2. Yeah. Yes. So 16 is 4, 4. 10 is 2, 5. Yes. And 4 is 2, 2 again. Again 2. So 4, yes, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. Yes. What does are eight? Eight to the sixteen root five. And yes. height also is a different question. This is a means bit medium level, medium level hard question. Height of this triangle from A. They may ask from C also. In that case, it's different, right? If they ask yes. C, then height will be different from this compared to this. This height also they may ask, who knows? Yes. Yeah. Just try once, think about this. What can be done? Only I'm asking AD. If I'm asking here, if AD is the height of this, the height of AD, think for one minute and just tell. If you're not getting, then tell me. I don't know. Then I'll just tell you, explain you.
So this is seven. Seven. Height is seven. You are saying Amit? Yes, sir. Which concept you applied? Um, I just like took um A and then B. I added, then I divided it, and then I got seven. What what A and B you divided? Yes, sir, by two, and then I got seven. How what do you add it? I don't know. So A is uh, 10 and B is 4. So it became 14 and then it's the same. So I divided by 2. A is 10. How is 10? No, like we took the semi perimeter, right? So from there. Semi perimeter 16, no, of all the sites. Which semi perimeter are you taking? Um, like it's 10, like U minus 16 from. Yeah. This is 10, 10 is subtracting from this you are saying. Is minus uh, yes, sir. Yeah, from there I took the 10. S minus A you are finding, S minus A, that is 10, that one. Yes, sir. That one and then S minus B uh, is 4, that one. And then I added 10 and 4. But I divided by added 2. 14. Yes, sir. And then I divided by 2. Semi perimeter is what you are finding the sides of which one? Semi perimeter of two sides you are finding? No, sir. Hmm. And to finding the area, how you can find semi perimeter of two sides? Because here you are finding two sides only, no? Yeah. Hmm. Harini, what can be done here? Uh... One thing you understand. One triangle area is half base into height, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. You apply this formula or this okay, formula. Sir. Your answer will change or not? No, sir. It will change. change. No, it won't. No, it won't change. You can do by any formula. It means area, you know. This formula is and area, you know, already 16 root 5. This should be yes. equal to 16 root 5 only. Yes. Yes, sir. Your base already, you know, that is 14. Base with 14. Yeah, so half into 14 and into height if you found, then it's fine, over. So h is equals to 16 root 5 by 7. That's all. Understood? If it is oh, centimeter, okay. like centimeter, if it's right. So this is the way of doing all this. That's it. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So new thing you understood right now to find height also. Similarly, you just C E you found now. C E you find now. If C is the height, then what is the height of C E? If you're drawing from vertex C. Eight root five by three. Eight root five by three. You, Amit? Oh, I, I don't. You can't find same this for this concept. You understood or not? This concept, what we have discussed right yeah. now. Yeah, that I understood. Then same concept you apply. You know, half base into height is equals to sixteen root five, right? Yes. In this case, just base will change. Here, base was fourteen, right? Because, okay. oh, because oh, it was falling six. on this. Okay, sir. In this case, this base becomes 12. That's it. Got it. Oh, okay. Hi, sir. Oh, 
Aman. No, sir. Uh, Rikshit. Rikshit. Ah. I joined late Saturday. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. You know Hiran's formula? No, sir. Okay. Then after the class, you just uh, glance. I'll once. view the recording, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Is equals to 16 root 5. So 2, 16 will go 6. So H will be 16 by 6 root 5. The same, or you can write here 8 by 3 root 5. What, what the answer, Rani? Yes, sir, I got the same. Okay, Dikshit, if I just discuss one question, no, you may understand, okay? What is going on and how to do? Sir, how right. much of the chapter is done, sir? Uh, how many? How much of the chapter is done? Not much. Actually, we read only one formula. Based on that, we have done three questions, three, four questions we have done based on that. Okay, then, sir. Sir, can you show the formula once I note it down? I'll just tell you one question and after that, you can just note. See, formula is only S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. That's it. This yellow color formula. One second, sir. A I is equals to write it down. A is equals to root over S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. In which A is nothing but area of triangle, any triangle in which we know all the sides, in which you know if you know all the sides. Okay. So what is S? S is semi perimeter of the triangle. And A is area. Capital A is given no left hand side. That is area. Capital A. Okay, sir. Small A, B, C is the sides of triangle. Okay, sir. Got it. Now I'll give one question. You have to use the formula and get the answers for that. Suppose here I'm giving uh, sides are 4, 7, and 5. Okay. First question is find the area of triangle ABC. Find area of triangle ABC and second question is height height AD
So I got the answer. So Sir, even I got. Did you got Hamet? Yes, yes, sir. I got. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So, area you can find now. What is S? Sir, what is D here? Diameter, right? What is that? AD is the height. So, D what is, can we do? D is it? the name of this point. What? D is the name of this point. But what should we do with that height, sir? We have to find the area. First, you find S. S is what? A plus B plus C by 2, right? S semi perimeter is what? Rikshit, what is semi perimeter? Sum of all the sides divided by 2, right? Yes, sir. So you get 8. S, you got 8, right? Oh, okay, sir. So A is 4. B is 5, C is 7. Clear? Okay, sir. Then what you do? You use the formula. S is equals to root of S. So the first answer I got is 4 root 6. 4 root 6. You, Amit? So the area I got is 8 root 3. You got 8 root sir, 3. Yes, sir. sir. Height I got is 8 root 6 by 7. Sir, so for me, the height is 8 root 3 by 7. Let me check the area first because area, if it's correct, then height also is correct. Okay. So let me check the area first. Rikshit, where you're not understanding, you let me know. Okay. Sir, I just didn't know that. Um... The semi area thing. That's that's the only thing I got confused. Now I am I understand. Semi perimeter is nothing but perimeter is what sum of all the sides, right? You know, no. Perimeter of rectangle. What yes, is sir, I got it now. Yeah. Any thing perimeter if you're finding is you're just walking on the boundary. And walking on the boundary is nothing but what. Simply adding all the sides, right? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Eight, four, three, one. Four, four is thing. So four root six. Four root six. I might have done mistake. Four root six is coming. Check how eight will come. Oh, two will, two will be alone. Yeah. No, two is alone, right, Amit? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I simplified the four also. So this is no, this is wrong now. Now height to find height base is seven, right? So area of triangle is half base into height. This is also one formula. Sir, eight root six by seven. Okay, four root six. Area of triangle by different formula is same only four root six. Clear. So half into seven is seven. Height. height is we don't know is equals to 4 root 6. Yes. So h is equals to 8 by 7 root 6. What I did, how I did very fast? Because 2 you send up. So 4 to the 8. 8. And divided by this one 7. That's all. Understood, Amit? Down part you yes. multiply with numerator and divided by the uh, this one 7 will come down. That's all. 
क्लियर प्रेक्षित आई होप अंडरस्टूड नाउ राइट यस सर इट्स क्लियर so height how you are finding that is clear to you because this is another formula to find the area of triangle when base and height is given to you then but area will not change you can find by any of the formula area will not change clear yes sir that's all okay that's all we just uh, leave here only and tomorrow onwards uh, sorry from tuesday we'll start what your uh, this thing which one mm, this question based on the exercises okay fine rakshit if you are having doubt you can ask right now for those who have done that's for today okay fine yes sir okay sir on tuesday yes sir Okay, you have done uh, this one test for today. Yes, okay. I have a test today. Okay, I'll do it. Test what you are forgetting? It looks like you are getting zero 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 written. Some I don't know what you are doing. Sir, last test I couldn't write, sir. Okay. Okay, I'll write it now. So every time you should write. No, Sunday always test will be there, right? Sir, no, not like that, sir. Uh, we went out and we came right now, so. Okay, fine. All if you can leave for the day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye.